everyone, James Mansfield here bringing you yet another video. On today's video, we're going to make a very simple project. I'm going to show you how to make a mink stole. Well, not quite mink. Faux mink. Faux fur mink. We're on a budget. Who wants to spend hundreds of dollars on mink stoles or go schlepping around a thrift store and get something that smells like mothballs? No, we're going to use just a little bit of creativity and make our own stoles. Now, let me run down some of the list of things you're going to need. You're going to need a good pair of scissors, some sewing straight pins, a sewing needle, a seam ripper in case of any mistakes, two yards of sequin fabric or whatever fabric you want to use for your lining, and two yards of faux fur in whatever color you desire. Now for our sewing machine, we're going to have it set to a straight stitch on one of the loosest settings possible. Because for faux fur or something really dense, you want to make sure the needle can pierce through both fabrics. Now let's get started and make a stull. Hi everyone, let's get started. First thing first, we're going to lay down our fabric flat. And the stole is a bit big right now, so I'm going to take my scissors and I cut off three and a half inches from the fabric. Measure and trim at your own discretion. This will determine whether or not your stole is larger or smaller. Two yards is the standard size I do for me. If you want to make it longer, just get more fabric and extend it. It's as simple as that. And careful when cutting on the faux fur. Be sure and part those fibers of the fake fur to not damage it. Once that is cut out, we're gonna take our decorative fabric and place that over the fake fur. Make sure to have the side you want displayed over the fake fur part. We're gonna pin that onto it. I don't recommend doing this kind of project with fake nails on because my nails keep popping off. And taking our scissors, we're gonna trim the excess of that decorative fabric. Next, we're gonna feed that through our sewing machine. A straight stitch on a loose setting. You want to make sure the needle goes through both fabrics. Be sure and go slow on this too because your sewing machine could jam if you go too fast. And be sure to remove your pins as you go. You don't want to sew over them or else it could break your needle. You can use fake fur like I did or use an old coat or skin a neighbor's pet or something. And if you can't find fake fur, just murder a stuffed animal and give it a go. All right, once that's sewed up, we're going to leave one of the ends completely open because we have to be able to turn this bad boy inside out. And that's what we'll do next. We're gonna turn this inside out of itself. All right, look how glamorous that looks. We're gonna take a hairbrush and we're gonna brush down the edges to get all that fur that might have got sewn in between back out. And this will help make the edges look a lot prettier. And just brush along the edges of the whole thing, cleaning up all the edges. All right, taking our sewing needle and some thread, we are going to seal up the end of the stole by doing a whip stitch. And taking our brush again, we're gonna brush through the end of that to get all that hair back out that may have gotten sewn down with the stitches. And take your scissors and trim any excess hairs that won't brush out or just look awkward. No animals were harmed in the making of this tutorial. This will give you that instant feel of a 1950s starlet, minus the backstage politics or affairs with presidents, cause considering our president now, ew, beautiful. Not really practical for keeping you warm, but it sure looks glamorous. And there we have it. Our glamorous stole is complete. Welcome back. This is the final result. Guaranteed to keep you warm. Look how it looks on my shoulder. Look how glamorous this looks. It just screams, I have so much money and I'm so much better than you. All that affordable glamour and not one trip to the thrift store. Lucky you. Now, get yourself some fake fur and some decorative fabric and make yourself your very own stall. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I am listening. And I can't forget all my fabulous supporters on Patreon. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon, click that link down below and see how. And until next time, bye. Click here and learn how to make a puppet or get ready with me. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'm going to leak your photos on Instagram. You know the ones I mean. Click it!